I'm Allie. I'm a 39-year-old housewife. I work part-time at a nearby grocery store. My son is in the 10th grade and my daughter is in the 8th grade. My daughter Katie was the one who first noticed that my husband Bob was cheating on me. It all started when I got a text from Katie. Mom, I'm almost done with work, but uh, Dad's here. Uh? He said he was working late. You work at that restaurant near the station, right? Yeah. His company isn't around here, is it? I'll ask. Thanks for letting me know. <sighs> Something feels off. Huh? He's with a woman. I'm sure it's work-related. No worries. I'll ask him myself. Don't worry, okay? <sighs> okay, be home in a bit. I was sure it was nothing, but I decided to text him just in case. You're working late tonight, right? You still at work? Yeah, I've been so busy lately. Did you eat dinner? Yeah, got some food at a nearby convenience store. I'd love to come home and eat dinner with you all, but I'll be busy for a while. I see. Take care. Thanks. I'll be back before the last train leaves. There was no reason for Katie to lie, so it was clear that he was hiding something. And she said he was with a woman. I didn't want to believe it, but I did some digging. Then I found proof. He was having an affair all right. He was dead to me now. And my daughter had to see it. I couldn't forgive him. I called his boss and found out that he'd been lying about working overtime too. And he was planning a trip with his mistress. He told me he was going away on a business trip. So I talked to Katie about this and decided to take action. Be back around 8 tomorrow. No need. Huh? I know you're busy with work. You've been working a lot lately. Too bad you don't get paid for overtime. Yeah, business isn't going well. We just gotta tough it out. Plus, I'm a manager, so I don't get OT. They just give me a fixed amount every month. I see. Work is tough, huh? Maybe you shouldn't be going out so often. Huh? What do you mean? What's going on? Nothing. Where are you today? I'm in New York. I told you yesterday. You never listen to me. I'm just checking. Don't get mad. Shut up! It's your fault! <sighs> I'm sorry. I snapped. I'm fine now. Did you get to see the Statue of Liberty? What? No, I'm here for work. I didn't have time. I see. I'll get you guys some souvenirs. Thanks for taking care of things around the house. Souvenirs? No thanks. What? I'll just get some sweets for the kids then. No need. Have fun. I said I'm working. You okay? You should rest or something. I'm at the station now. Call you tomorrow. I knew he was with his mistress. So I decided to put my plan into motion. <sighs> I can't wait to see what he says tomorrow morning. Pick up. We gotta talk. I've got nothing to say to you. Amy Smith, your mistress. I know about her. What? How did you- What's wrong with you, huh? You know Katie saw you guys, right? You went to the restaurant she worked at with her. Huh? I thought she worked at a convenience store. You never listen. She quit there a long time ago. Now she works at that restaurant near the station. That place you went to with Amy. I had no idea. You never listen! I mean, you're never home anyways. I heard you sent something to her. What's going on? What did you send her? All your stuff. You're always spending time with her, so I thought, why not just move in? Her husband found out. He called me this morning. What have you done? Uh, me? You did this to yourself. You can come home if you want, but we moved out, so... Huh? What do you mean? Like I said, the kids and I moved out. If you want to keep living here, be my guest. Moved out? Look, I'm sorry I cheated on you, but you can't do this! <sighs> Seriously? You're telling me what to do now? I'm sorry, but moving out like that? Come on, what did you tell the kids? Katie already knew, so... And she agreed with me. She says she never wants to see you again. Wait, what? She knows? 
What the hell? Hold on, I'll be home right away. I told you, we moved out. Fine, I'll go to your parents' house then. We're not there either. Whatever, I'll ask your parents where you are. You're not getting away with this. Whatever, but if I were you, I'd enjoy the vacation. After this, you won't have time or money to go on vacation for a while. I'm suing you for damages, so... What? Damages? Oh, and let's not forget child support. I'll be right there. Hold on! I told you we're not there! Shut up! Just wait for me! Bob was the quiet type, but whenever he didn't get his way, he snapped. I kinda got worried he might try something at my parents' house, so I called them. We were far from home, so I wasn't worried about us, but it was just my mom and dad at the house, so I was kinda worried. But then, something unexpected happened. That night, I got a text from Bob again. I'm so sorry. Can we talk? No! You went to my parents' house? Yes, I realize what I did now. Your brother was there. My brother? And what happened? When you weren't there, I, I kind of snapped and things got violent. Tch, you're pathetic. I'm at the hospital. What? You hurt them? How dare you? I tried to hit your brother, but I missed and I fell down the stairs. My leg is broken. <sighs> okay. You're lucky he didn't hit you, but he's a black belt, so he'd never hit a civilian. Black belt? You never told me that? You just never listen, do you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Okay, but I'm not gonna forgive you. Sorry to hear about your leg, though. Thanks. Okay, then. I guess my lawyer will contact you soon. Goodbye. Wait, I'm so sorry. I won't do it again. Please, let me see the kids. But I just ignored him. I couldn't stop laughing. Glad my brother was there. He later told me he didn't lay a finger on him. What goes around comes around, I guess. He tried talking to me after that, but I kept ignoring him. Finally, he gave up and agreed to the divorce. He said he wanted to see the kids, but was late on his child support and the kids didn't want to see him, so I don't think he'll be seeing them again. As for me, I got a big promotion at work. And I still had a lot of money I got from the divorce settlement, so money wasn't an issue. <sighs> I guess it's time to move on with my life. <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more!